staffing inequality. Essential question. How do you represent the solution of an inequality on a number line? Inequalities can have an infinite number of solution. That just means lots of solution. The solutions of an inequality x is greater than 2, for example, include all of the numbers greater than 2. You can use a number line to represent all of the solutions of an inequality. The number line at the right shows the solutions of the inequality x is greater than 2. So something that I want to point out to you guys is that since it says greater than and it does not say greater than or equal to, the circle that is on the number 2 is not shaded in. So please note that. Unlock the problem. Forest fires are most likely to occur when the air temperature is greater than 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The inequality T is greater than 60 represents the temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit, for which forest fires are most likely. Graph the solutions of the inequality on a number line. Think. I need to show all solutions that are greater than 60. Draw an empty circle at 60 to show that 60 is not a solution. So we need to put a circle around 60. We are not going to shade it in because it does not say less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Shade to the right. So we're going to shade everything to the right of 60 to show that the values greater than 60 are solutions. Try this. Graph the solutions of the inequality y is less than 5. Draw an empty circle at 5 to show that 5 is not a solution. So we're going to circle 5, but it's going to be empty. Shade to the, well it says less than, so we're going to shade through the to the left. Okay, so shade to the left of 5 to show that the values less than 5 are solutions. You can also use a number line to show the solutions of an inequality that includes the symbol less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. The number line at the right shows the solution of the inequality x is greater than or equal to 2. So if you notice there, since it says greater than or equal to, that means that it does include the number 2. So you are going to shade that number in, that circle in that is on the number 2. Example 1. Drop the solution of the inequality on the number line. A. W is less than or equal to 0.8 or 8 to be 10. Draw a filled in circle at 8 tenths, so right here, 0.8, to show that 0.8 is a solution. Shade to the, let's look at our problem up here, so we need to shade to the left because it says less than. So we're going to shade all of this side of the number line. So shade to the left of 0.8 to show that the values less than 0.8 are also solutions. B. N is greater than or equal to negative 3. Draw a circle at negative 3. So let's look at this number line. This number line is not labeled at every section, but it is labeled even numbers. So. We know, we know that 3 comes before 2, negative 3 comes before 2, negative 2 in the number line, and negative 4, it will come after, okay, because we're thinking of negative numbers, so they're on the line from left to right in a backwards order. So we know that 3 is in between 2 and 4, okay, so since it says less 
greater than or equal to, since it's equal to, we're going to circle negative 3 and we're going to fill it in. Okay. Now, shade to the right of negative 3 to show that the values greater than negative 3 are also solutions. Example 2. Write the inequality represented by the graph. Okay, so, we're looking at this inequality and it's on a graph. We have to figure out what the inequality is. So it says use x or another letter for the variable in the inequality. The empty circle, remember it's not shaded in, at negative 2 at negative 2 shows that negative 2 is not a solution. Is not a solution. The shading to the, let's look at our problem, shading to the left of negative 2 shows that the values less then negative 2 are solutions. So the inequality represented by the graph is x, a number that we don't know, so it's a variable. x is less than negative 2. Okay, Sharon Show. So go ahead and turn to the next page. We're on Sharon Show. Graph the inequality m is less than 15. m is less than 15. So draw an empty circle at 15 to show that 15 is not a solution. Shade to the left hand, so left of the 15 to show that the values less than 15 are solutions. Number two, if C is greater than or equal to negative one and a half. Greater than or equal to, since it says it might be equal to, it could be that number. We're going to circle it and shade it in. Now, greater than. That means we're going to shade to the right of our number line. Okay? Now, number three. B is less than or equal to 5 eighths. This one's a little bit trickier because we are looking at fractions, so we have to figure out where 5 eighths would be located on this number line. So it would be right here between 1 half and 3 fourths. And it's going to be filled in because it says less than or equal to, it could be that fraction. And then we're going to fill in the whole left side because it's less than. Okay? All right, it says graph the inequality on your own. So go ahead and graph the inequalities. 4, 5, 6, and 7. Remember you will need a line graph. You will need to label the line graph. You will need a circle either shaded in or an open circle. And then you will need one side of your line graph shaded in. So go ahead and do on your own by yourself. And then when you are done, please have it checked by your teacher to move on to the next page.